And we get a Friday stream, after all. Welcome back to Mist 5. It's been too long now. We couldn't stream this last weekend, and uh, we left off right in the middle of a pretty difficult puzzle, learning to count and all that, and uh, I have all my notes, but I feel like this was not really a good time to take like a two-week break from this, but let's see what we can do. Because yeah, I, I didn't really have any ideas to like work through, I mean... We wanted to like maybe write out what all of these are, like what all the numbers on each stone translates to, if there's some pattern to that maybe. So maybe I should do that. I don't know why I've not saved a page in my notebook. Hold on. I'm just going to tear this out. Alright, so... I don't know, like, where this starts, but let's say, uh, oh god, like, what do I, what do I call these different, different rocks? Let's just find, yeah, the ladder, and I'm just gonna go, like, clockwise, and just say rock number one here. So rock number one has the symbol going to like have this open so I see all of these numbers. This one is uh five right I think that's how that ended up working. The circle it this corresponds to the single circle which is five I think so I guess I'll just write five And then let's go, yeah, how should we go? Like, turn it clockwise or go clockwise? Let's go clockwise around it. So this one is nine, I think. Here we have eight. Oh. And then is it seven? Yeah, it's seven. Ah. Seven. And. Oh. And three. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I thought it was just like going in a cycle, but no. So this is five, that's nine, that's eight, that's seven. This is three. This one is 10. Uh, this one is 11. And that's two. That is a weird pattern. Five, nine, eight, seven, three, ten, eleven, two. That's odd. Okay, well, let's move on to the next one. So this is rock number two, let's say. Oh, is it the same? No, it's not the same. Okay, so rock number two. Has one, seven, uh, what is that? Fifteen, is it? Yeah, fifteen. Eleven, four. Ten, nine. That's a six. I just wrote a six. Damn it. Almost a nine. 
and five. Also weird pattern, one, seven, fifteen, eleven, four, ten, nine, five. Hmm. Now number three. We start with 12. Well, then one, then five. Then 14. Then four. In the same position as the four on the last one, but I mean, the position, I guess, can shift. Uh, eight. Eleven. And thirteen. And the final one. Rock number four. This was ten. Six. We haven't seen that before. Seven. That's... Oh my god, I just wrote a six again. God, I need an eraser. I don't have an eraser on hand. Ugh, that's really messy. Uh, three. Nine. Not a six. Fifteen. Five. And two. Oh boy. And what would all this... What would all this correspond to? Because, like, it, it wouldn't just be... Oh, set it to three because this means three, like the thing above it. Because that would just be too simple. And I don't think you can do that. Uh, which one is it? Yeah, this one. Just three. Yeah. That doesn't really make sense. And then obviously we have like a ton of numbers just on this thing, but what would I possibly make of these? When there's so many numbers. See, again, if we just try this, I mean... Yeah, like, this This just seems... Because we don't even know what this one is lining up to. And I'm pretty sure I've already tried, like, lining them up. But yeah, this one can't line up to the window. Is there, like, one number that all of them have? Not one. Two of them have one. Two of them have two. Two of them have three. Two of them have four, I see. Okay. But all four have five. Okay. All of them have five. And only one has six. 
Two of them have seven. Two of them have eight. Three of them have nine. Three of them have ten. Three of them have eleven. Only one has twelve. Oh my god, one second. Take like half a weekend off streaming and I'm just like dead. Not used to it anymore. 12, uh, 13, only one. 14, only one. 15 has two. So I mean, all of them have five for what that's worth, which is this one. If we just line all that up, I mean, I don't know why you would. I wish I could see, like, what is happening to... When I change these, what's happening inside? No idea. Yep, now they're all set to five. Now what? I definitely feel like we're gonna be needing some more uh, hints for this stuff, especially to like get the ball rolling again after so long, because now that I know what all the symbols mean, I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna just gonna grab a Secret, that uh, secret, a uh, hint right away. Maybe a little too impatient here, but again, just hoping to like get the ball rolling a little bit. Uh, what can I do with a large hut on the plateau? What's happening here? I just like clicked. What can I do with the large hut? And it just shows everything and says there are no more hints. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, not going to read everything. Quite a lot of windows, but no doors. Take a look inside. Symbols. Yeah, symbols above the windows. Map out the symbols. Yep, we've done that. Yeah. Symbols inside are numbers. The symbol immediately on the other side of the window is the corresponding borrow number. Yeah. Maybe we should go down. The, I'm not even reading this, but maybe we should go down and look at the uh, the other thing down here. I don't know why that would do anything, but just to, like, look at them now that we know the numbers. And this hasn't, like, shifted because I put them all on five, right? Oh! Oh, it has! So, I mean, I feel like we could just kind of trial and error this a little more. Just shift one of them, see what happens with this one, and then eventually we would just... We would just get through, which would be weird. Yeah, so here... Oh, no, I already did this, right? I have an image somewhere. Where did I put that, I wonder? Oh god, I have no idea where I put that. I didn't put it in, like, the Uru folder, did I? I did. For some reason I have them in the Uru folder. I don't know what I'm doing. I 
Yeah, so here we go. Yeah, I've already mapped out like 12 and 7. 13 on his own. 13. Ah, hold on. This thing. 13, 2 and 1, 2, 3, 8, 2, 9, 14, 5, 6, 3, 10, 1, 4, 12, uh, 6. But I don't know what any of that means. Nope. Uh, the number one can be presented either by a single line or the borrow symbol of a dot inside, inside a circle. Yep, we know that. These symbols are given in the graphic below. The borrow numbers, yeah, yeah, I, I have them all, it's fine. They are a big clue in helping you get through the blocked doorway just to the right of the ladder. Yeah, I mean... We know that, it's just like, I, I kind of want to know why I'm doing this, but I guess I should just experiment a bit more before reading hints. I just want to know, like, why I'm doing something, or how it works. But I feel like if I just twiddle around with these a little bit, it's probably going to work. Sorry about that, had to get the chat back. So, like, if I just turn this one and set it to a number, like, higher than five, let's say we put it to... So this is two, this is ten, this is six. Let's just set it to six. Just plus one on that one, and then we go down and see, like, what's going on. If anything has changed... Yep, something has changed. Okay, so if we do minus one instead, will it rotate the other way? Ah, well, we can't do minus one. I can do minus two if I use this specific one. So that would be... seven and three. So if we do three instead... Huh. That did not work. That's odd. Unless it is that we specifically need, like, a 4. That for some reason 19 is the magic number that they all, like, add together to. I don't know why that, that would be a thing. But let's try it. Like, this one had a... No, that doesn't have a 4. The, the previous one does have a 4. Over here. And the four was the, the triple line, like so. And that's closer, or it's maybe, like, the same as it was before? But why did doing one less move that so much? Hmm. Yeah, like, I'm just purely trial and, trial and erroring. Don't really know why I would do any specific numbers. 
So if we instead do... Uh, what was that? 8, 11, 13, 12, 1. If we do 1... I'm assuming it'll be a flat wall. It's not. So maybe it's that... Ah. It might be that each one... Each one is controlling a different spinning passageway. There's like four different passageways. So only the right one here controls the first one. And I mean, in that case, I could just like... You can't just trial and error this whole thing. And you didn't even need to learn the numbers at all. If I just like go through them one at a time, so that was uh those two at this point. Now at the very least this one should be like moved. I guess I should confirm that by like moving all of the other ones except this one. Yeah. And now this goes over here. And then we get to a different one. Yeah, a different one that's not correct. And that I think that is the next one, the one that I just altered. This just feels like I'm just going to trial and error it and then get to the end. But maybe we need like the number knowledge for some stuff later. But I'm going to I'm going to check some hints just to like cuz yeah, now I can solve it by just trial and erroring, but I want to know like why I'm doing any of this. Okay, blocked off passage. Uh, large hut surrounded by four smaller stations with symbols. Those stations control the doors in the passageway below. Yep, I figured that out. You can click and drag. Yeah, you're gonna need to put together a couple different sets of clues to figure out the correct combinations. Not really. But let's keep... The clue back down on the shore. Oh my god, my voice, please. God, I wish I had some, like, good vocal warm-up exercise. A clue back down on the shore might even resemble the layout of the hut and the four control stations. Oh, okay, well that's a good clue. So let's... Let's go for that. That, like, this thing is showing us what numbers we need to set them on or something? Uh... Oh, I, I don't know what that would mean. Sure, okay, these correspond to the four rotating things. And the egg is the hut, or the rock, well... Rock egg. Birds. But what what would that mean? I'll just grab another one. The display with the four bowls. Yes, I know. Okay, what what is the purpose of the display with the four bowls? Is a different category. Yeah, slate. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I know. I've already drawn this symbol. There are holes in the canvas above the display that lines up with the bowls. Why don't you wait around and see what happens? Oh. Okay, well, that's another good hint. I did not notice that there were holes here. So when it rains, it'll, like, fill these up. But what will that do? Okay. But that, that's a good hint, at least. Wait, where is the slate? Uh. What's going on here? Hmm. 
what's going on here? Where's the slate? We only have this slate. Yeah, all the other slates are gone. I didn't find any place to, like, put the slate, did I? And why haven't they brought the slate back? I I'm not holding it. Like, invisibly. This might be a problem. Did I, like, put it down up there somewhere? But then why wouldn't they take it back? Well, guess I'm looking this up as well. Missed five, slate gone. Missing slate. Uh, Miss Five lost slate. Okay, I'm just gonna have to like look at my own video. W when did I last have the slate? This is an annoying set setback. Yeah, I'm just like holding it here at the end. Yep, I just I was just holding it at the end and it's gone. Wait, hold on. I was holding it. It's like going at a quarter speed. That's why nothing is happening. Oh, that was just a screenshot. Shit. So I wasn't holding it. Where the hell did I put the slate? Okay, here. Here I'm actually holding it. And I put it down under the ladder and climb up, and that's the last we ever saw of it. I just put it down right here. What the hell? What is going on with the slates? Why didn't a guy come and fetch it? Jesus. That's really weird. Yeah, these slates are super buggy in this game. I'll just let him take it back. All right, so water will fill up. I'll just have some tea. The suspense is killing me. Oh, and then you see the reflection of the correct symbol. So it's this one. Hold on, we need to like screenshot this, but this is very vague. 
Uh, this one. Okay, wait. So it's. Uh, what is that symbol? That is nine. Bottom left is nine. Top left is four. Oh god. Nine, four. Top right is. Which one is that? This one? Well, I have the screenshot. Oh! They remain full. Oh, that that's way easier. Okay, so you weren't like time pressured. I thought I had to like make sure I did this before the rain stopped. And that was 12, I think. Yeah, 12. Top right. And two. Yeah, two. Bottom right. Okay, now this makes sense. And then we get the corresponding symbol. The bottom right one, okay, yeah. Uh, though we don't know, like, which one is the bottom, in that sense. I guess, out of these numbers, 4, 12, 9, 2, is there one that only appeared on 1? 2 appeared on multiple, 9 appeared on multiple, 12 only appeared on 1. And 4 appeared on multiple. Okay, so the 12 one... Number three, that is the, from the ladder, it's the, like, second one to the right, and that's the one that has to be the, the far right one, this one. So this has to be the fourth one, using the number two, which it does have, this is number nine, which is number one, which it does have, and this one is number four on number, on stone two, and it does have that. Okay. Okay. So, 9... Did, did we actually set that? Oh, 2. Yeah, we set 2 on this one, and that's why I could walk through, right? Yeah, that's just a very... Very subtle detail, you have to notice. This is set to 2. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then this should be set to 12, which is the uh, on-off switch. This should be set to 4, which is the triple line. And this should be set to 9, which is the bunny ears. There we go. We're dual swords. Okay. Alright. That's totally fine. Definitely something you could just very easily trial and error, though. I wonder if we're gonna get, like, we did see that there was a path here, so I wonder if we'll get a different combination that then rotates this around this way and we can, like, go somewhere else, but I guess we'll see. Yep. A snake. Do we get up inside of the hut? Yeah, we do. Okay, but there's definitely something more hidden there. And we get a new teleport point. So I guess we can teleport here and then like rotate the last one. A different direction, too. If this one goes right, maybe that's something, too. I'll just take a normal screenshot, but we'll also take a uh, an in-game screenshot. It's like a TNT explodey box thing with a line in the middle. A TNT detonator. 
Hi. You were just sitting here for like two weeks? You have unlocked my lab. It's impressive. It is safe here. They are afraid. They will not come here. The snake binds them, prevents them from linking. I take no pleasure in what they have endured here. But I had to learn. Did you know that you aid the creatures, the Bahro, as you move the slates? Did you should tell you that? Did you know that the full power of the Bahro is restrained by the tablet? Did you should tell you that? Did you know that they will not come near anything with the symbol of the snake? Did you know that the tablet that you should told you not to give her controls them? Did she tell you that? She told me a lot of stuff. I didn't really get it. They are terrifying creatures, if not controlled. Go to the top of my refuge, up there. Seal this refuge. And you can climb. Cool. Okay. Are we gonna find some, like, nice, caring experiments lying around? The music's shifted quite a bit. Not sure what I'm looking at here. Uh-huh. Any gruesome details? Not really. Just showing some ladder stuff. Whatever this is. Guess I'll just take screenshots of all of these. Yeah, is this the snake then? And that's... We already saw that in the journal that she was like... They were afraid of that, right? In one of the poems? Alone. Shut up. There is a... Home was far behind. I was... I was very young when I first felt strong. I am There's a skip a one. Grower. To Mana, my home. The stranger, the friend, return. Pride is a thief. Pride's it's gonna be the very last one I click. Oh god, if I can click, my mouse is warping around. Power is a curse. This one. I learned pain. Some power I wield so it's like person and snake equals pain or something. In so then this symbol rage, alone. I the murderer and I like if you if you do this, it's not necessarily like an Again, evil symbol. It's just like something evil has happened to someone. And that's and why the they like screamed or were, were afraid or like sad for you or something. I can't remember what happened. But if you just do that, I guess they would be like scared or angry. Bone? Joints? Uh-huh. Seal it. And we can climb. So... I'm guessing we can rotate these things around again? If we rotate them around, then we can, like, look in the windows and 
when we get the right combination, we'll see that the ladder has lowered or something? Not too sure. Oh, sorry, I need to be right back. Give me a couple minutes. Alright, there we go. It always, like, jerks the screen down when I, uh, alt tab. Did he, like, have this go in, into the cage, when he had one here? I guess? Oh, there's one on the floor as well, I didn't see two on the floor. Don't have screenshots of those. Uh-huh. What does this say? One? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three. What is that? Is that, is that supposed to be four? Five? Yeah, six. Okay, there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh... 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it's just the numbers. Okay. I don't know why you would just write those numbers on a piece of paper, but sure. Wow. Well, there is some proof of the, uh, the mouse, like, jerking around. That is, that is proof right there that it keeps happening. Ah. No. It was like this, right? What? No! I didn't want to take it again. God, these are so janky. What do you mean you took it back here? What? What's going on? That was perfect. Ah, ugly. Maybe start with the box. That has to be right, doesn't it? I don't know why this keeps happening. They, like, teleport away with it, and then they don't teleport away with it. This just seems very buggy. Or is it some weird thing where they can't teleport in there? They're not, like, able to? But then how am I gonna get... How am I gonna get the, the teleport point? Let me check the screenshot. I think I'm doing it right. Yeah. TNT box with a line in the middle. I'm doing it right. But it's just not registering.
It just like doesn't work. What is happening? What is happening? This just feels like a bug. I'm pretty sure this is a bug. Close and reopen the game, someone says. I don't know why that would matter, but... Sure. I guess I will. Oh, and yeah, now now it's there. Oh, and now it's like actually here as well? Nope, it's still not there. It's registered. Okay, so maybe this is not a bug. Maybe this is actually intended that they can't teleport in there. But if so, then I don't know, like, how you can... How you can seal the chamber and then still get in. That doesn't make sense. Hold on. No, can't see anything from this. Try to search for, like, Escher Lab Teleport or something to see if people were talking about that being bugged. I mean, I guess let's confirm it. I'll just put down the slate in here. If they can teleport in here, then it's BS. Also, all the, these numbers, do they mean anything? 4, 12, 9, 2, that we, like, set this to? Hmm. Not sure. 27, does that mean anything? This is gonna bother me. Ah. Okay. Alright, fair enough. So it's like a real mechanic. They just can't get in here. So there's something else to do. I thought we would be able to, like, teleport in here? Hmm. I don't know why this is buggy. This is definitely a bug. Well, I'm gonna leave the slate in he... No, I should not leave the slate in here. That would be dumb. N what the hell is going on? Now I have it? What do you mean? Okay, this is just really buggy, right? Or is... Is it there because I drew the symbol and then placed it? Oh, is that something you can do? I thought it was like when they teleport to a new area, then it gets added. But maybe it's like when you draw the symbol and place the slate on that that podium or whatever, then you get the symbol. So if I can do that myself, now I can teleport in. Okay, all right. Maybe these are not bugs. They just sure look like bugs all the time. Everything seems so janky that it wouldn't be surprising if it's very buggy. 
Like, it's definitely buggy, so it's just hard to tell the bugs from the actual intended stuff. So, I mean, if we just, like, just rotate it by one, all of it, what happens then? Actually, instead of rotating it by one, I want to rotate it by, like... Uh, how many do we have on each? We have eight. So yeah, we like rotate it to the one opposite. Uh, oh, I guess we don't quite have one opposite. No, we do. Yeah, like this one. If I just set it to the opposite one, would it then show a difference? Like now it would be the opposite and maybe... I mean, I guess in that case... Yeah, we don't want opposite, because the tunnel was going this way, and if we make it opposite, it'll be going this way, which we don't want. I would want it to go this way, so to do that, I would just have to rotate it, like, two steps back or something. But let's try just oppositing all of them, just inverting all of them. And we can't see if the ladder is down, so never mind that strat. Yeah. If this is one-to-one, -one, then it would be pointing this way now, so we can't do anything there. Maybe I need the slate with me. Yeah. Yep, and the ladder is down. So you just have to do that. But then surely there's something more to this tunnel. This kind of feels like the end of this age, if we climb up here. Ah, I guess not. There's still two more, like, teleport points before we even get to the borrow thing. Okay, so that's... You probably don't need to invert it. You probably just need all of them to be closed. Uh, what did this screenshot say again? Hold on. Before we do that, I just want to look at the, the thing that showed the ladder. Did it have anything to say? Like this specifically, even though like sealing the chamber is pretty self-explanatory, but this one. Not sure what that means, like, I guess this is the pathway, like kind of a 2D cutout, and these are like open, the way is open, and the ladder is like this, but when the way is shut, then the ladder is down. So maybe that means only the first and last one even matter or something. I don't know. I'll see. Yeah, we, we should draw this thing and see what the borrow's reactions would be. Yep, here's another one. Oh, and that just opens that door, but only while I'm, like, looking at it? Huh. Only while there's an observer here? So we place the slate here? Oh, while someone's standing on this. If we place the slate there... And maybe, maybe do the, like, snake symbol or something. Like, if you place it down, then they'll take it and teleport out. 
and it won't be open for long enough, but if you do the snake, they'll be scared and won't pick up the slate, maybe. And then we can leave it here and keep the door open. Okay, let's uh, do the classic normal screenshot and in-game screenshot. Circle with a bigger circle and then two lines. So, if we do right here, oh no, don't place it down, just place it here. If I just place it there, it does not register this, okay, but if I now Oh, but I can't climb up with this in the tower. So this one we do need them to teleport for us. Because they will, since it's not inside of his lab. Right? Yeah, that they're fine with. And that should register the new one once they place it on the thing. Yep. Okay. And then, hold on, let's just go back and just confirm. What did the snake thing look like? It was like a, an inverted three. It was like... This kind of thing, right? Yeah. And then they leave it alone. And they'll keep doing that? Even when new ones show up? I guess new ones don't show up. They'll just leave it. Until you, like, pick it up and place it down again. But then if we add... Uh, what was it? Like, this and that? Now it'll mean pain, and they're they're just kind of like sad about it, but not scared. No, apparently I did it wrong. What was it? How could I have not seen the true power is a gift. Power is a curse. I did do it right, just like not centered enough, I guess. That was a pretty satisfying one, if I do say so myself. Yeah, they're like... frustrated or something, but then they will end up picking it up anyway. Do they like, actually feel pain from it? It's not that they're empathizing? Yeah, they take it away eventually. Is it not that they're empath empathizing? They're just, like, actually in pain from the symbol itself. I don't know. But yeah, I imagine we just go here, draw the snake, place it on the sort of pressure, pressure plate thing, and then run into the tree. That was not a satisfying one. Good enough. Because, yeah, you need a lot of time to run through, so you need them to not touch it for an extended period of time. Oh, I didn't even check if it was still open. It's not open. Well, damn. Uh. Okay. 
Okay, I guess that's not it. So what other symbol, like, if I want them to stand there for me for, like, a long time? Yeah, now it works. But if I place this down and walk away, then it doesn't work. Yeah, so it's specifically a person has to stand here. So we can't adjust this in any way. I mean, if I just write this, I guess. I don't feel like this is going to be enough time. Are you just supposed to make them, like, dance or sing again? Or pain? Yeah. Gotta sneeze. God damn, stupid tickled sneezes all the time. I hate them. Where you know you're gonna sneeze, but nope. Because I can't, like, get over here quicker in any way. Still no? I'm hearing them teleport. But it still doesn't count as someone, like, being there. And I'm not really sure what to do. Make it rain, I guess? If we make it rain and then look into the tree or something? Did Escher say anything? He just said climb, right? Not that we had to, like, do anything else. And these have drained out. I don't know how long that takes. Uh, where is it? Oh, here. I guess I, I don't want it here, actually.
Well, it sure is open. But it sure is doing nothing. Yeah, we need someone else to stand here. It's Uru all over again. And I guess I need some hints. How do I go through the door on the smaller island? I'm skipping past all of these hints that are just like telling us very, very, very step by step how to get to the place we already are now. Yeah, large lens. Yeah, door dissolves. You'll need to figure out some way of being near the door when it dematerializes. Uh-huh, I know. You're gonna need some help. I know, borrow. I know, like the borrow is a hint. I know, I understand. Jesus Christ, these hints are so... Like, come on. We're not fucking morons. I mean, I guess it's good to err on the side of, like, having very incremental hints rather than spoiling too much, but still, like, come on. I bet if you dropped your slate on top of the tree symbol on the roof, they would open the door for you. Yeah, but it it's not for long enough. Unless you can prevent the borrow from picking it up. But that didn't work, the snake symbol. Think about how Escher prevents the borrow from entering his lab. Yes, I know, snake symbol. He said they're afraid of the snake, I know. I know. One of the draw drawings shows a snake symbol. Draw that symbol. So you, you were just supposed to do that? But just position it like slightly differently or something? What the hell? So I was literally doing exactly the right thing, it just didn't work. And it said to do it on top of here, but should I do it like here or something so they step back and stand here? I guess? That's a little, uh, little finicky. Yeah, that's always so frustrating with these games when, like, you have the exact correct idea, it just didn't happen to work out perfectly the way the game wants. And then it's like, you don't know that you actually were thinking correctly, because you have no way of... no way of telling. So now they should appear, like, in front of it, I guess. Or something, I don't know. Let's see. Or it's just really jank and this isn't gonna work either. Well, let's see if they teleport back. We can, like, hear it when it happens. What's I need? My web browser, all of these windows shuffled around again. It's just not, not working. It's not working the way it, it says that it should work. Is this another restart the game moment, and then it'll just suddenly work? Because this sure ain't working. I've tried it both off the, the button and on the button. It's still here. Do I have to move it even further away? Let's go back and check, like, exactly how they appear when you write the snake symbol. Yeah, man, this is so annoying, just like... 
just fiddly and inconsistent, even though the, like, logic is fine. So we do that. They appear in front of it, right next to it. And then get scared. Do I just not wait long enough? It was like, if it takes a full minute for them to come back? Let's just see that. Just confirm. It's another, like, Uru situation. Just waiting is the name of the game. Like, why would you assume, when you see this, why would you assume that they're ever going to come back? Wouldn't you just assume that, okay, they're scared of this, they now know that this is the snake tablet, they're not going to pick it up until you, like, pick it up yourself and put it somewhere else, then they try and pick it up again, because it might be a different tablet, or it might have some different writing on it. It just doesn't make sense to s stand here and assume that they would come back again. If that even is what's going to happen. I don't know. I feel like it's been a minute. Sure doesn't seem like they're going to come back. There we go. I don't know if it was me moving or if it's just that long. And, and then they still do that. Oh man, this is so, like, jank. Even though it makes sense. This is so frustrating when you have puzzles like that. Where, like, in theory, they would be good puzzles, but in practice, they just aren't. There's so many puzzles like that in Myst, where if you explain it in words, yes, it does make sense, but... It just makes the game feel crappy. So this should work, because now they should stand, like, right on top of here. And then we just need to sit there and wait. Well, now we just sit here. What is this saying? That is, uh, four, three, two, one. Uh, what are these? That's 12. Uh, what would this one be? I don't know what that symbol is. This one is 9. Is this supposed to be 10? I don't know. And then there's, like, the symbol that we drew to get up to the tower. I wonder what happens if you do that. If you just, like, start out, you just, just see this symbol, you draw this... Oh, there we go. God, that is stupid. Jesus fucking Christ. Waiting with no indication that you are supposed to wait. Love it. Love that as a mechanic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. Yeah, you could just like draw some symbols you see. So you start with the, the spiral and then you draw a whole bunch of other stuff and then you end up drawing the like dot circle and, and this. And then that might actually be the correct one. Like, it might work.
Ah. It's hard to draw good circles with a mouse. Good enough. Not really. And why are we, like, skipping one? Now we're just going to the end? Why are we just skipping straight here? This world just didn't have another one? That's weird. Or maybe it does and it's through the, the tunnel. No one understands these creatures as I do. I see you doubt that. No one has learned their language as I have. Do you question that as well? What other doubts has she placed in your mind? I have opened my age, my mind, and my understanding, and yet still, you question my motives. I mean, you haven't really explained much about anything. I only hope the knowledge I have gained will save you and me in the end. Why do I pace? I'm afraid. To show off their cool animations. I fear. Rotoscoping. What you'll choose in the end. I hesitate to tell you this, to add to your burden, but I must. There is another option in the end. Kill Yisha. Missed book. It lies locked on the desk where you began in Kabir. Yisha will not go there. She has grown to detest that island, so the tablet would be safe from her hunger for it. Be alert. A choice awaits. Do not let your feelings of doubt, perhaps even of me, cloud your reason. He just stares blankly into space. Yeah, I mean... I kind of do want to side with him just because it's obviously th the wrong thing to do. Yisha is just annoying with her uh, poetry bullshit. But we still need one more. Oh yeah, here are all the slates. Wouldn't it be good to like take them back? I mean, I guess I'll I'll leave them. But hold on. So we do want to go back here. Do I want the slate then? I think I do. Oh no. Oh, I can't take it back ever. Oh no. Wait. Do I not want to do that? Oh, I'm not sure I want to do that. In case we want to check if there's something underneath. Hold on. How do I, like, how do I load again? Oh, I, that's not how you do it. I should have the save, like, right before the five orbs. Though we have to watch that cutscene again. What? Didn't I, huh? Didn't I photograph the, like, five orbs? Did I only Steam screenshot it? Did I Steam screenshot it? Hold on. Yeah, I did. Damn it, why didn't I in-game photo? That would have been good. Okay, I mean, I have this. Let's restore save game here. Uh, no. If I do that, does that mean it's gone? From here? Like the next photo? No, it's still here. So, let's try it now. And just see if I can actually, like, change this. So we want to open this up again. So 
So this one was two. This one. But then if it's now rotated like this, I guess we would do this to rotate it over here if it works that way. And then same on this one. Uh, this one, hold on, that was 12, which is the on off switch. Four. I don't know if this is the final one or if that's the final one. Wait, which one is four again? The triple line. Because how do you go in the, the tunnels? It's like this way to this one, is it to this one and then this one? And this should be nine, which is bunny ears. Let's try changing this one. So in that case, again, this one is rotated like this to begin with. Oh, like at the end, you come from this direction and go in here. So in that case, we would rotate it like that. If that actually works. Like we could definitely see that there was a tunnel on the left here. Yep. Where does this go? Oh, a dead end. Ah. Oh. Okay, but what about the other ones? We can still, like, we can check every single one. If we check this one, and then remember how the other one was, we can, we can check that. And... Yeah, we can, like, get to each... We can get to all of them, right? Like, let's say we start by going in here on the first one, and then the next one was like, we we came from here and rotated in there or something, I think. If we then rotate in there, we can check what's here, but we can also come from the other side, rotating it this way to check what's in here. So we should be able to check, like, all of them. We can uh, even check the first one going, like, straight up, if I rotate it correctly. I guess I'm gonna do that. This might take a while, but yeah, I want to check like every single possible possible way to go. So hold on, let's uh, rotate this to begin with. Uh, l let's not. Let's teleport first and just check this end one, but then I'll change this back and just do them one at a time. Uh, what? Oh no, I don't have that. Why not? This was, like, before I did this. Oh, and right, I don't even need this anyway. I need to go here, so that was pointless, but whatever. Uh, this one is just the way it was. Ah, because the fourth one is this one, not the third one, not the, like, opposite one. Okay. So this is the third one that I just rotated, yeah. So it is just in order. Like, the first one to the right is the first cylinder, then the second one is the next one, then the third one, then the fourth one. Okay. Okay. Good to know, I think. I mean, I think that's how it ends up being. Wish we had a teleport just on top of, like, where the hut, it, hut is. We could, like, go outside. Like, teleporting up here, but then just being able to, like, jump down or something. Imagine jumping in a mist game.
Okay, so we've tried going left from this one. Now it's the correct way again. Now everything is correct. So let's just do them one at a time. So uh, in order to get... Like, we've gone left from this one, we've gone right from this one. In order to go up from this one, we need to rotate it like this. Right? We don't know. Uh, hold on. We need to start at... No, yeah, this is two. Exactly. So now it's rotated here. We rotate it like that. And then I just need to go from the back, and I should be able to go in here and get to that side, just to see if that's anything. Like, surely you would hide at least a little easter egg or something in one of these, right? And it's weird that there's not another teleport point in this world. Unless I just missed, missed it somehow. These are hard to get into. Yeah, we don't see anything here. You can only see if there's a passage when they're, like, rotated wrong. But now... This goes here. Into a wall. Okay. Oh god! Well, it's not an easter egg! Did they really not anticipate that anyone would, would, would do this? Whoa! The stone. I'm back. This seems like such an obvious thing to do for a secret to me. That I'm like surprised that they at least didn't like just make a wall there so you couldn't walk out. That's strange. I want to do it again. Just to confirm. That it wasn't like a fluke. I'm still going to check all of them though. Yeah, that's odd. Why is it so hard to get into these? Yeah. I mean, I guess if there was a secret passage, we probably would see it here. And I don't. At least they did program us to, like, just teleport back up if you fall out, out of the world. So they anticipated that happening. Instead of just falling forever and ever. But okay. So the first one is done and uh, didn't have any secret passages. Just out of bounds. So now, oh shit, I didn't remember. I didn't memorize like which way they're rotated. Because now we'll want to have this here. And then I want to say this. I want to say we're coming in like this way and like going in here. So I actually want to do this to then go in, like, kind of into itself. I'm not entirely sure, though. Man, I wish you could just, like, jump down or teleport at this point. You can't do that, right? There's no, like... There's no just return to the, the start of this world. Didn't I figure something out like that? Hmm. Wait, right, we don't want to teleport, we just want to walk. So let's pay attention to the actual rotations of these. Okay, well, it was right. Yeah. Spooky. Well, that's just a snake hole, I think. But yeah, okay. This actually had something, not falling out of the world. Oh my 
God, these are so janky. What is happening? Let me in. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, so then we want to rotate it like two more steps. No, no, no. Completely reverse it so it goes here and then go from the other side. I'm assuming that's going to be another fall out of the world situation. Like they only thought about the one path. Here from the start, you can go left or right on each one, and they thought about that, but they, they didn't think about going, like, from the back, so you could go forward. So we just do... that, and then teleport. Yeah, if only you could just jump down, that would be nice. That was the nice part about Uru. You could just like jump around, take shortcuts and stuff. No fall damage. Screw realism. Man, this world is very uh, mouse jittery. And moment of truth, probably. Yep, another falling out of the world moment. No! This one actually has a proper wall. That's weird. Oh. Yeah, strange. So it doesn't show anything, but you can't walk through it and fall out of the world. Only the first one makes you do that. Well, for now. And then, yeah, this we want to rotate back twice, I believe. Let me in. God damn it. Maybe this is where I should use the other click mode, the speedrun mode, when this is, like, actually taking longer. I'm assuming there wouldn't even be any, like, walking in in that mode, because they don't want you walking into these wrongly, or whatever. So, let's set this one back. And then, this was turned, I think... To the right, wasn't it? So we would do this, to then go left, and then reverse it from the way, the way back. Was that Classic Plus? Yeah, you definitely move faster. Oh, I messed up. It was the opposite. Damn. Yeah, this is definitely faster. Oh, nice! You can just... No. I thought you could just hold down the button. You can, but you have to, like, be holding on something you can actually go on by the time it registers, so it's kind of finicky. So it was actually... No! Actually this way around. Yeah, here you can't even, like, go to all the windows? Oh no, you can, okay. I just feel like this is a weird... 
movement option compared to just doing FPS controls. They just make more sense to me. Like, when you have a proper 2D puzzle game where you click and go to a new screen, it makes sense. But when it's like a 3D game, but you just go to like arbitrary points, it feels strange to me. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Let me just check this quick. In free move. Yeah. Just another dead end. And then we reverse it and it's gonna be a black screen. A black wall. Back to speedrun mode. So I actually had it set up the way that I need it now. I could have just done that first, but oh well. Let's be methodical about it. It also jitters a little bit when you have this movement option. When you're like looking around while moving, everything's like shaking a little. Which is kind of distracting. Yeah, look at that. Like a lot. Yeah, that's very annoying. I would not want to play with this movement option for the entire game. We do that, and then we just have two more at the end here. This was Noloben, right? I kind of want to search like Noloben third teleport or something. Or last teleport, I don't know. Let's check it in free move. Yep, black screen. And this is also solid. So only the first one makes you drop out of the world. Hold on, I felt like I was about to drop out. No. Probably the same for the final part, but we will check. So, I mean, I guess this makes it, like, even more tedious to trial and error it, because you could get to, like, get it to, to go this way, and then it's a dead end, and then you get it to go this way, and then you get to the next one, and it's wrong, and then you rotate that, and it's wrong, and you rotate that, and it's wrong, and then you rotate that, and it goes into a dead end, and, like, yeah, you could trial and error it, but it definitely would take a long time. I'm not gonna switch back, because I can, like, take shortcuts here, so I don't know if it's actually faster overall. So we do that, and then the final one, the final one was, like, going to the right, wasn't it? So we should turn it this way, I believe. We can always check, like, if this is wrong, we can just teleport instead and check that part. Yeah, it's questionable if it's actually faster. If I get stuck on things, then sure. And finally... I was right. Oh, God. It's just a very quick dead end. Alright. Still more snake holes, though. Does that mean that they don't want to, like, teleport in here at all? If we, like, drop the slate here, would they not teleport in? Because they're afraid of snakes. Okay, one final thing, and then that's that's kind of it for today 
I'll uh, look into the the teleport thing quick. So we like beat Nolaben and then spent twice as long just going through dead ends just for the sake of it. Just a missed opportunity not having like some kind of secret here, I feel. So there. And it goes into a black wall that is also shut. So it's only the first one that they didn't put collision on for some reason. And you just fall out of the world. Very strange. Alright, so. Uh, Mist 5. Noloben. Noloben 3rd. Teleport. Uh... Hmm. Noloben teleport symbols. No, this isn't really, uh, really doing anything. Yeah, there's the symbol they're marking on the thing I we saw in Escher's lab that has the, like, the symbol for... It's not quite the symbol for 12, but yeah, it's like a circle with a dot and a little thing at the bottom. Uh... It doesn't seem like there's anything... like another symbol. Noloben Borrow Slate Slate Symbols I don't know. This is not really doing anything. Well, if you know, please let me know. Is there not a third teleport in Noloben, and if not, why not? I don't know. It's kind of strange. Let's just see if we can, uh, oh, if we can still restore the game and just like skip having to talk again. Yeah, it's weird that there's only two of them when that's like a consistent pattern. I mean, maybe the next one, the star one, also has only two or something. So restore this one. I just saved the game, I didn't mean to. But that's fine, I guess. How does that work? Like, is there- Oh, the game crashed! Great! Okay. Uh... I guess I'll boot it back up. Is this Uru all over again? Now, like, taking photos will crash the game for some reason? Or is it gonna crash on launch every time? Okay, we're, we're back. Yeah, this is the correct save. Uh, I don't know what... Oh, God! When I open this, it crashes every time now. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's really bad. Am I just gonna have to ignore that for the rest of the game? I mean, I guess it is the end of the game. Like, it has been a decent... Decently long time compared to like other Mist games. It's just Uru kind of shaded my perspective on like how long Mist games are. We played Uru for, I don't know, I can't remember, like 10, 20 parts. Whereas most other Mist games are like 3 to 10 streams. So I think we're probably done. But if I do this. Okay, 
then it does work. That's weird. So if we just go all the way to the end here. Yeah, okay, so we want to delete this one and delete this one because they, they were causing like issues. And then just restore this save and don't load a new one. Uh, don't save a new one. And then... Now we can open it again. Okay, alright. Crisis averted. That was weird, though. Let's just go over here, I suppose, and we'll end it off. And then... Next time, we'll have to do the star world. The cosmic world. The problem is, I'm probably gonna need to look at a hint, like, immediately for that, because I have no idea how to even begin with this world, with all those, like, telescopes and stuff, and one that isn't working, like, it it just doesn't make any sense to me, but, I don't know, we'll see, maybe I'll look around one more time, but probably gonna need some hints, so, thanks for watching, Mist 5. Uh, next weekend is also a little, little sketchy, I'm not gonna be streaming tomorrow, almost certainly, but Sunday I will be streaming, not Mist, though, and then next weekend I don't know... I might be streaming Friday and Saturday. It's been a lot of stuff right now. I can't really keep the like normal schedule going, but hopefully it'll be back eventually. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll take a break and then we'll do Lama Lana 2.